right, well, I figured I'd just show you guys this little creation. No, it's not a tank stop. Uh, I'm not gearing up for Civil War number two here. I'm just going to make a little firewood. So this idea is not unique. It's not new. You guys can find, I've found these things for sale before, listed, you know, published for sale. Um, but basically all I did was just built a little crib here and each cross brace and set of legs is spaced 16 inches apart so that when I get a whole bundle of wood in here, I can just take my chainsaw and zip, 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 zip right down the middle, right? And everything's already right there at 16, 17 inches long, you know, perfect size for, for firewood and for stacking up, you know, a four by four by four cord. My point here is, you know, for if I was cutting firewood for myself for wood heat on the house, which I'm not, but if I was, I grew up on wood heat, I would never fool with this. I've seen these things listed for sale, and it's like, oh, put your little log up here, and it shows some guy, you know, wearing full chaps and safety gear, and he's cutting like a 10-inch, perfectly round pine log in a factory somewhere with a fake backdrop. Um, it's not realistic, in my opinion, for the real world for cutting firewood. Me, I'm cutting firewood. I got a log on the ground. I make as many cuts in it all the way down the length without you know hitting dirt as I can. And then I roll the log all at once, finish all those cuts, boom, 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 it's all done. The reason I'm building this for me is because I have this massive pile of sawmill slabs. Typically, I was sawing mostly pine. Pine's not good firewood. You can burn it in a campfire or whatever, but you don't want to burn it in your house. Uh, so I was just throwing all this stuff away, just burning it in burn piles. But lately, I've been doing more oak, pecan, stuff like that that is good firewood. And um, so I want to try to start to salvage some of that. Now, to go through this pile, to climb up on it with a chainsaw and sit there and knock a bunch of bits and pieces off and then pick them all up and then cut a bunch more and pick them all up, it's time-consuming, it's dangerous, um, it's just not good. So what I'm going to do is I do have this pile that sucks. It's formed up over the last about two months of me sawing here and there. Um, I am going to have to go through this pile. I'm going to have to sort it because there's some cypress in there. There's some pine in there. The cypress, I burned it on my own campfire. It doesn't smell good. Um, so we're going to throw it away. We'll throw it away with the pine. But as I pick through there and I find the mesquite and the oak and the hickory and stuff like that, I'm going to sort it and put it into here. And then once this thing gets full, then I'm going to buzz through and cut it all into firewood. So... It'll take me some time to go through this pile, but once this pile is gone and out of the way, then I'm gonna move the rack over here, right beside the sawmill, so as those hardwood slabs are coming off the mill, I can put them into the rack right away and not have a big pile to sort through. I gotta go run these stupid goats out of my orchard. They're eating all my fruit trees. All right, let the goats run off. I won't care once the fruit trees are bigger, but what they do right now is those fools stand up against my fruit trees to try to get every last little leaf off of them. It's fall time, so if they defoliate them, oh well, but they stand up against them, they snap them. They break my trees off. Once the trees get bigger, I won't care. Anyway, you get the point. I mean, there's all sorts of oak slabs right there on top. There's some cedar. Uh, the cedar will get thrown away too. It doesn't smell good when it burns. But all that stuff, I'll get it sorted out, thrown in here into what I'm calling the rack. And um, then we'll get it all cut up for firewood. And I'm going to get some pallets and build some bunks. Again, not new, not creative. I'm just telling you guys what I'm working towards here. And uh, we'll get that put together and we'll start to see if we can't sell some firewood. It's, it's winter time. People always want to buy some camp wood down here. People want to buy barbecue wood down here. My goal is to be able to, you know, put it on a pallet, sell it as the half cord on the pallet. And, um, you know, not have to be touching it, loading, unloading and, and do all that. It's purely just, you know, basically salvage. It's, it's what would be scrap. It would be burned anyway for trash. So if I can throw it all in the rack here and sell it for 100 bucks per half cord or whatever, I don't know, I'll have to look, see what the right price is. But, you know, hey, if I can make a little extra off of it and it doesn't take me any real extra time other than running the chainsaw to make the cuts, then to me that's worth it. So I just want to show you what I was doing. It, you know, it looks rough. If this works and, you know, I'm actually salvaging a lot of firewood, I'll build a bigger, better one. I just threw this one together right now, built out of scraps. I did use the cypress for the rack because it's, uh, you know, it's durable, it's rot resistant and lightweight. It'll probably fall apart because it is a little soft. Like the screws might strip out, I don't know. But if this works out, I'll build this better. I might even build one out of steel. But I like that it's built out of wood, so if I do nick it with the chainsaw, nothing gets hurt. Uh, yeah. Anyway, that's my plan. I just want to show it to you guys and explain, explain why. And, uh, you know, if you got a little mill like me and you want to cut a little firewood, I think it's a good idea. 
So I'm just loading up the wood, wood <laughs> rack for the first time and uh, I guess now's as good a time as any because it's getting cold. It's, uh, I mean, you can see I finally got a jacket on. How often you guys see me in long sleeves? Um, but it's getting cold. It's supposed to get down to 38 tonight. It's supposed to get down to 28 tomorrow night. Which that's that's about the coldest we get. We barely dip below freezing every now and then. Anyway, I was just gonna show you guys how it looks when you start loading it up. Um, it's holding up. There's at least several hundred pounds on it. I know that much. Uh, and you can see I lined everything up on this end right here, as far as all the all the butt ends. And then I should be able to just line up my bar on my chainsaw and just zip, zip, zip. I really should have spaced it to where I could go right down the middle of each one. Now that I look at it, um, but I spaced it to where I'll just run my bar right down beside. Uh, each one and that'll be right at 16 inches which again it doesn't have to be <laughs> so perfect um, but it just makes it easier that way I'm, I'm planning on getting some you know free pallets I'll get them from the school or something four foot by four foot pallets and then I know if I stack it four foot high that's a half a cord so that's why you do 16 inches long so you can do three rows 16 inches each um, yeah so it's all stacked up this is all cypress pine cedar sycamore i'm gonna this is this is basically a bundle of what i would call trash wood um it'll work for campfire wood it'll work for just outside fire pit wood but you don't want to cook with this stuff and you don't want to put this in your fireplace it's it's sappy it's smoky it's stinky so oh goodness do you guys see this there's a disaster oh, hang on where's it at back here somewhere you see the minions yep there is a uh, small child stuck in the mud. Shocker, because I told him to stay out of the mud. I gotta go save, save her, I guess. future of course the idea is that I won't be having to double touch the wood so there is still the efficiency like it's it seemed inefficient there that I'm trying to get rub where y'all can see the wood rack in me it seemed inefficient for what you guys just saw because I have to cut and then having to throw some pieces off to the side because they were wanting to fall and they weren't they weren't dropping off to the side like I wanted them to and that is a function of how I'm cutting them because what I need to be doing when I'm cutting them the the I'm working on one cut and the outside end is still supported that's the problem the outside end needs to be unsupported when I'm making the cut so I need to figure out um, I think I just need to change I just need to change where I cut so I was using this the point the piece that's kind of sticking towards us I was using that as my guide if I use the piece that sticks away as my cut guide, then that should leave the cut end unsupported. The next end over to the left would still be supported. So maybe that would help it fall off there a little better uh, and not be wanting to hang up. But anyway, like I said, the idea is once I can get to a, a good setup, I get all this pile cleaned up, then I'll move the wood rack over beside the sawmill so that when I'm taking slabs off the mill, I place them directly into the wood rack. And then, you know, while I'm milling or whatever, once the wood rack fills up, grab the chainsaw, boom, 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 cut some firewood, go back to milling. That's the idea. So worst case is we stack up a little extra firewood. Man, if I can sell it for 50 bucks for a half cord for just, you know, just fire pit wood, especially this stuff, like the pine and the cypress, it's just, it's just junk to burn. You know, it's don't burn in your fireplace but I've got hardwoods and I'm getting more hardwoods all the time. So eventually I think I'll get to a point that I can just be sawing hardwoods. Um, I mean, I'll always still have some pine, but I'm saying as far as cutting for firewood, I'll get to a point that I'll have nothing but hardwood firewood. You know, like I'm, I'm fixing to bring a whole bunch of pecans. And so all the scrap that comes off the mill of that pecan, 
man, that's cooking wood, you know, that's, that's pecan, that's barbecue wood. So it's not even just like campfire wood. It's actually good cooking wood. So anyway, there's, there is a purpose and I think it'll work out now, whether or not in the future, I'll end up building a, like I said, a, a better rack. I need to use this one for a while, figure out what I do and don't like, figure out what needs to be modified. And then maybe I put the time into building one that's, um, that's bigger. Can, you know, I can load it up more, have to stop. So I won't have to stop and cut and clean it as often, load, really load it up. Um, like I mentioned earlier, maybe build it out of metal. We'll just have to see what comes. But again, the idea for now is just taking scrap off the mill that I otherwise would have burned and just wasted and see if we can find an efficient means to make it into some firewood and be able to get a little bit of extra revenue off of what would have otherwise been a waste stream.